All good. Just, yeah, go ahead. I'll let you guys debate. Okay, so the issue I was kind of taking, or the thing I was taking issue with is seems like your definition of gender is just going to correspond to chromosomes. Is, is that correct? No, not just the chromosomes. Body type, body structure, etc. It's not just chromosomes. But no, you can yeah, you can simplify to that. I'm sorry. You you can simplify to that. Well, if we're going to yeah. simplify to chromosomes, then there's just going to be more than two genders, right? Because there's more than two combinations of chromosomes. Okay, what is the third gender then? Well, it would it would I'm you want like a name? I don't know what the name would be, but well, you're saying, I'm saying there are two. You're saying there are more than two. So obviously you need to have some sort of definition of how many are there or what their names are. Well, I'm just going by your definition, which is corresponding to... Yeah, so my definition is very simple. There are two genders, male and female. You don't agree with that, right? Not if we go by your definition of what gender is, no. Yeah, so what's gender then to you? Sorry, what was the question? I didn't hear that. Yeah, what was gender then to you if we are not going by my definition? Because I think that we are going by my definition since you want to debate me out of it, right? You believe I'm wrong. Well, well so I am you actually have definition. Okay, so in my definition, there are two genders. You're saying that there aren't two genders. You need to provide either the name of the third gender, the name of the fourth gender, etc., or how many are there and why they are there. I, I'm not saying there aren't. I'm not saying there are more than two gen. Well, I'm saying that if we go by your definition of what gender is, there is going to be more than two genders. But you keep saying there's two genders. Okay, you're saying that there are more. So you have to give me an example. What do you mean by more? Well, there. So, okay. Do you accept? Okay. So, do you accept that there are more than there's more than two types of there are more than two types of chromosome combinations? Yeah, I grant that there are more than two types. Okay, and you accept that there are uh, that gender corresponds to chromosomes. Yeah. Right. So then, I don't see how there aren't going to be more than two genders on your definition of what gender because even though there are more combinations they end up either one of the two genders it's not that they're going to a third gender yes there are more than two combination but that doesn't actually mean that there are more than two genders well then, then it then it must be so it must be something besides chromosomes then right like there has to be some other like property that that determines gender right well, which is it then? You tell me. I don't know. I'm working off your definition. My definition has only two genders. Okay, My definition has the, the property of chromosomes. <laughs> it's very simple. Okay, and I'm, so if chromosomes determine gender, so like, it, I don't know how to make this any simpler. Like, if you think there are more than two uh, combinations of chromosomes, and you think gender corresponds to chromosomes how how can you not say there are more than there aren't more than two genders yeah i just explain it yes there are more than two possible variations of the chromosomes but that doesn't mean that those combinations end up in a entirely new gender they still end up to one of those genders either to the male or the female then difference in gender doesn't just correspond to difference in chromosomes. There has to be something else, because if it was just chromosomes, you'd have more than three genders. If it was just a difference in chromosomes, there'd be more than... Th than yeah, this is my point. I'm not sure what you're talking. <laughs> well, I'm just going off of what you said gender is you said gender corresponds to chromosomes now it yes. seems like there's some other factor so what is no that there factor? there isn't another factor it's just chromosomes okay then if any difference in chromosomes marks a difference in gender it doesn't it that's the thing it doesn't if even if there are more than two types for example, X, X, Y, etc., they will still end up as either male or female. It doesn't matter how many combinations are there. For example, I will uh, give a very simple example. Um, you can go to the lottery, all right? And there is, for example, 48 numbers, but you only pick six of them at a time. 
it will always be six at the time. It won't be seven, it won't be five. It's so it's always going to be six. Do you, do you understand the analogy there? No, of I don't follow. Why there are only two genders? Okay. So you know how in lottery, right? For example, a bingo, there is a lot of combinations, but the end product, the final result there is always a finite amount of numbers. It's not all of them. So all those combinations end up to a set amount of numbers. In our case, all the chrome, all the combinations of X and Ys end up either as male or as female. Okay, I'm I'm so, I'm still not following. I don't I, I'm not sure I Like you're, you're cutting off. I can't hear you. If you're saying oh, that, I'm sorry. Can can is this better? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, so is any difference in chromosomes mark? Uh, does any difference in chromosomes mark a difference in gender? In, in other yes. words, like okay. So then, if there are three different sets of chromosomes, there's going to be three different genders, right? There are not two, three different sets, though. I, I'm sorry, I don't understand, like, I don't understand how you can hold this position. Don't worry, just a second. I post it in general chat. Maybe this will help you understand. Not really. <laughs> like I, I still don't understand how you can like coherently hold these two. Like you, you're saying that any difference in chromosomes marks a difference in gender. Um, but then simultaneously, and that there are more than three combinations, or sorry, more than two combinations. No, but that there, there aren't, aren't more than two combinations. You're missing the point. By difference in chromosomes, I mean difference X, Y, X, X. I don't mean any other sort of difference. Okay, so wait. So are you saying now? Sorry, I, I just, I just don't understand what you're saying. I'm sorry. Well, just follow the numbers. You see how there is, for example, 22 possibilities on the one side and 22 possibilities on the other, right? Sure. And you see how at, at the end it becomes one of those things. It doesn't go to a third thing. It always becomes either X, Y or X. But it doesn't. There are people with XXY. There are, pe like, I don't understand. Yeah, true. But we consider those people, again, either male or female. But that doesn't make but sense, given your definition of what gender is. Why? Because you say that any difference in chromosomes corresponds to a difference in gender. No. And then I point... No. Okay, so that's not your position. Not any difference in chromosomes. Yeah, it's not my position. Okay, so what does determine gender then? Well, it's not any position. It's the position of X, Y, or X, X. Is that better? It's not just any position. So X, X, or X, Y determines gender? Yeah. Right, so then... You're cutting again. I'm sorry, my mic is fucking shit right now. Um, so, okay, so you said XX or XY determines gender. What about people who aren't either of those things? They're the exception. We just consider Wait. them to one of the, the two genders, yeah. That's Do you want me to elaborate? 
because I was hoping that you will go faster to intersects, but you're not just not going there. So let me elaborate. Uh, you know wait, wait, how that doesn't make any sense though. It, it will. It will. Wait, wait a minute. So, no, 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 hold on. It, it, just because they're an exception doesn't mean that they like like when you say exception, presumably you mean like a statistical exception, right? Like they're a statistical minority. Yeah. We don't yeah, but that those. doesn't mean that they don't belong to a separate category, right? Like, let's say, let like let, let's say I have, a, let's say there's like a factory that produces marbles in batches of a hundred, and for every like one hundred, like let's say they produce like forty nine red, forty nine blue, and then there's like a, like a manufacturing error. And they produce two purple marbles. Like just because the purple marbles are a statistical minority doesn't mean that they don't have their own like color category. Like we wouldn't say like these marbles are either red or blue, right? Well, they would end up either red or blue. And the marble is either more red or more blue. Wait, so you would say it's that not we fifty fifty. These... So you would say that we should classify like these purple marbles as either red or blue. We you don't class, yeah. You don't classify it as a purple. You classify it either as a red or a blue, depending on which is bigger, either the blue part or the red part. Okay. People in that farm don't even know that purple exists as a color. They know just red and blue. Okay. Uh, yeah, that. That doesn't make any fucking sense to me then. All right. Well, this is how we go by though. And now let me give you the example with um, the human body. You know how a human body has 10 fingers, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. You, you know that it has two feet, one heart, etc. Sure. On average, yeah. Yeah. And still there are humans with uh, four fingers or six fingers. Um, some deformities, etc. Right? Those humans exist. Of course, yes. Yes, but in biology we don't teach about those humans. We teach about the average. Yeah, but but your definition would imply that a person born with nine fingers, we should we should pretend as though they have ten fingers, right? Like that's what you're essentially saying. We do that. We do that. We wait, wait. You're telling me that if you see somebody with nine fingers, you're gonna say, "Oh, hi, yes, you have ten fingers." Like, no. Like, what are you talking? About? No, I just wouldn't uh, say that he has nine fingers. I wouldn't bring it as, as even a subject to it. Yeah, but the point is, you'd still say he has nine fingers. You wouldn't classify him as... No, I wouldn't say he, he has nine fingers. I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say they have nine fingers if they were... if somebody. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't nine... say it. Even though they have nine fingers, I wouldn't say that. That would be impolite and inappropriate. I, I'm not... I... And who knows, maybe they have, they have nine fingers, but they have one bionic finger. So they still have ten. It really depends. Okay, let's say they don't have any bionic fingers. I still won't call them that they have nine fingers. I just wouldn't bring it as a subject. Just because they are abnormality, it doesn't mean that I have to acknowledge that abnormality. We can just have a normal conversation. I, uh, per, I, I mean, I person with ten fingers... Like, I, and someone with nine fingers. I'm not suggesting you should be impolite and you should like continuously point to their deformity. I'm just saying like you're not going to pretend as though these people are in the same category as like when it comes to like the fingers they have. You're not going to say this person has. To, I mean, I guess it sounds like you would say that. Like that yeah, I would. I I would pretend they're. Uh, pretend is not the right word. That, that's the problem. Pretend is not the right word. I just wouldn't acknowledge it. And um, I will treat them as a human say... being. So yeah, pretend here is not really the right word to use. If you see someone with nine fingers, you will genuinely... First, you might not even see that he is with nine fingers and even if you see that he he's with nine fingers you wouldn't uh that wouldn't be a topic of conversation okay but when you say but you said that you wouldn't acknowledge no they're acknowledged but he's acknowledged on a human level he's not acknowledged on the how many fingers he has there that's the difference there Th that's not what i'm asking I'm, I'm asking like when you say that you don't acknowledge that he has nine fingers 
Do you mean that you're not going to bring it up in conversation no. for fear? I of acknowledge you cast like nine fingers. Okay. I just so, not going, I'm just right. not going to bring it up in the conversation. Of course, he has okay, nine fingers. But... Wait, I think he's saying they aren't. They are genderless if they aren't classified. Um, well, I mean, I think he's just saying that these people would be classified as like. They would be still classified as a human. Well, just of course, having. Well, nobody's disputing one more finger. Would not matter. <laughs> yeah, just having one more finger would still classify it as human. Same thing with intersex. It will be still classified as male or female. It wouldn't be classified as intersex. Okay, for, first of all, nobody's acknowledging that they wouldn't be classified as humans. Obviously, they would be. No, I'm bringing it back to gender. Again, an intersex person will be classified either as male or female. He wouldn't be classified as intersex. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense on your view because you think that any difference in chromosomes is going to is going to um, correspond to a difference in gender, right? Any difference between X and Y chromosomes will end up in either one of two genders, not in any gender. Maybe this is the point you're missing. Oh, sorry. Either there is a further criteria for classifying these people or they don't have a classification. Yeah, exactly. Like there there has to be Yeah, maybe Isaac can explain it better to no, see what he means. I understand what he's what Isaac is saying. I don't know if you. Oh, sorry, you're saying that he could explain it to you. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't you, understand it. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess he doesn't want to. Never mind. Look, if you're gonna say that, if you're saying that, I think again. Fuck! I am so sorry about the mic. Um, if you're saying that chromosomes are the I only factor I just want to come in for, for a technical reason for a second. Just so you're aware, your cutting out is not, um, it's not the Wi-Fi thing anymore. So it's, you're not, like, breaking up. It's just push to talk. It's just your voice drops off. So you just got to hold the key. Okay. Sorry. So thank aware. you. It's not the prior issue. You can totally resolve it by pushing correctly. Near, it's not my internet. It's the, it's my fucking, like, uh... Yeah, it's it's the push now, to talk. We, we heard what it was like when it was his internet before. It was totally different. He fixed the internet thing. It's just the push to talk. Yeah, and, and also the other reason my if my audio sounds shit, it's because my uh my fucking headphones were glitching out. So I'm not using headphones right now. So, anyways, um, what was I saying now? Um, right. So if you're saying the only uh if you're saying the only determining factor, um, the only factor that determines gender is chromosomes. Right, that's that's it. Then you have to say there are more than, or or I guess it sounds like you're biting the bullet on the other examples I'm giving you. Like it sounds like in the in the marble analogy, you wouldn't say those marbles are purple. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say a, they are purple. Yeah, 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 you're correct. And to me, that's just such a bizarre like way of looking at categorization. But I guess if that's your view, like I don't know what else to say. Well, really. if you can't see purple, you will never acknowledge those as purple. Right. Okay, but 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 we do acknowledge these people as having different like combinations of chromosomes, right? No, we would. I I personally wouldn't imagine it as purple. I would imagine it as being red and blue, but just being labeled purple, right? Something like this, or a red blue uh, chromosome. It wouldn't be a completely new thing. That that's the point I make. So yeah. In this case, purple would not be the right example. It should be some kind of red bluish, but not an entirely well, new color. Well, red and blue is purple, right? Like that's the combination of red, red and blue. No, that that that's the problem. It's not really a combination. It's red and blue. Just one is more than the other. It's not actually purple. There is no purple on that ball. They never came out purple. They came just a bit more red or a bit more blue. This is how I would accept it. So like a like a marble that's half blue and i'm sorry i'm i'm really yeah half blue half red just something is more either it's more blue either it's more red so it, it, it ends up either at the red part or the blue part there is never never a purple marble 
the purple doesn't exist as a color. Fuck, I'm sorry. My, I, did I cut out again? No, it was perfectly fine. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought fucking phone. Um yeah, and 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 like furthermore, if, if you're like a manufacturer of these marbles, you you're not going to sell the like the defective ones to the store as like red or blue, right? You're going to you're going to say like, "Well, look, these are defective. These don't meet the like these don't meet the qualifications of red and blue." Like I What do you mean? The marble is still blue. It's just not blue. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean trans people are defective. I just meant like nobody is gonna like well, nobody is gonna who knows maybe i agree with that stance maybe you can push it further oh i wasn't you... i wasn't responding to you i was responding to bren and uh sorry <laughs> uh, all i'm saying is like nobody is gonna like if there are uh, like if if for every like batch of 100 marbles we produce if there are two that are distinct enough from like the standard red and blue most people are not going to view that as or sorry most people are going to view that as a new a different category of marble like the producer is going to view it that way. The consumer is going to view it that way. Like, it, like your view is just so like bizarre to me. But it sounds like you're biting the bullet. So I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, because I don't agree with how you present the analogy. So, for example, you made a very good point. When the marbles came, we don't really know. Um, like we assigned them red and blue. Even if a marble um, is half red, half blue. We don't know it, um, for example, at the start. We know it after it's in the store. So after the, it's in the store, it starts to exhibit red characteristics. But it's being labeled as a blue marble. Well, let's so, say it. Let, let's say it exhibits both, though, because like, oh, I see. Never mind. I see what you're saying. Yeah, because you know, otherwise it would be very easy to label babies as uh, transgender, non-binary. Uh, Apache helicopters, etc. It would be much easier if it was uh, right when they're produced. By the way, I, ident I identify as master, just so you know. That's, this is my preferred pronoun, master. Okay, I Whoever don't I, refer I, I, to me as why, master wait, wait. Is being Wait, transphobic. My question: Just so why, you know. why would why would such a view of category why why would we have to start classifying babies as non-binary on, on that view of like categorization? Well, because this was your example with the marbles. At the start, we don't really know um, if that the marble is half and half, right? Uh, it's exhibited in a later stage where it's already in the store. It's not when it's actually produced. So this is why it's the same thing as doctors. Doctors assign gender just based on the chromosomes. They don't know. I, I'm, I still don't see how that follows. You're saying it? Yeah, think about it like this. Um, every marble gets a special paper when it says if it's red or blue, right? So sure. even the marbles that are half red and like 55% red and 45% uh, blue will be labeled as red just because they're more red than blue. I, I That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't think most people are going to accept that view. This is how we determine the birth certificate. An intersex person would be labeled as a female if uh, she has more feminine traits and as a male if he has more masculine traits. Yeah, but I'm... Like, most people don't have that view. That's what I'm trying to say. We have already accepted that view for thousands and thousands of years. We haven't, though, because there are... Gender theory is very recent. I'm not sure if you're aware how recent gender theory actually is. Well, gender theory, I think, is not... I'm not super familiar with it. So I am very. I am very familiar. Okay. 
Okay, well, if anyone else wants to correct me, Was Fish trying to tag someone in there? Oh, I wasn't trying to tag anyone. Why? Oh, okay. You, you cut out. I thought you said if someone wants to help or something. Oh, fuck. I'm so, I'm so sorry about the quality of my mic. Oh, my. Well, do you guys oh, have yeah. anything else I think... to say to each other? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess the only thing I would say is, like, you can't you affirm a view that most people are not gonna hold like this is why we don't fuck i keep cutting out i'm so sorry um yeah all i would say is just you affirm a view that most people are not gonna hold <laughs> like most people are not gonna classify marbles in that way most people and we don't like science doesn't classify sex in this way either so um you bet all the bullets that i I gave you. I don't. I don't really know what else to say. But and you never responded my question again. You were saying that there are more than two genders, but you can't provide a number. How many are there? Well, if we go by your view, there are going to be as many genders. Oh, as let's go are. by your view. How many genders are there? How many genders do you believe there? Are? There are. I honestly. That's have a number. No idea. I honestly have no idea. Well, five, thirty, fifty. Sure, let's go, with, let's go with Isaac's example, 87.5. Like, I, I, look, I don't really know. I'm just... I... Well, the point is that um, if genders are made up, anyone can make up a gender and be a new thing, a new gender. The real issue where this becomes is with law. Um, and again, my problem is, again, not so much with... Um, Trans people, and my problem is what happens with the new law that's being passed. For example, since now, um, maybe the bathroom bill will change. A lot of things are really dependent on that law. So it becomes very fuzzy. Like Ben Shapiro has a very good video explaining it. It's one of his recent ones. Okay, can you give me an example of a law that's been shown to have negative outcomes? Yeah. Uh, not not really a law, but I can definitely give you tons of example. So um, there was a man who was pretending to be a woman, and he was allowed on a boxing match, and he destroyed the female. He obliterated her just because of his um, masculine traits. But since he identified as a woman, sorry. what? No, I'm sorry, I cut you off. Continue. Yeah, since he identified as a woman, he was allowed into women's spaces. He was allowed into women's sports. Do you think that we should allow that? To allow men beating up women just because they identify as women? Um, you know, honestly, I don't... I can give you a, a rape example. There was a man who identified as a woman. He was granted by court permission to enter a female prison. It, it was in the UK, and there he had three rape victims. You think this is acceptable when law is involved in gender? Um, as far as I'm aware, like prison rape is a pretty big issue. Like even when we don't add in like trans people. So unless you want to show like trans people are like disproportionate, like disproportionately prison the, rapists, I don't really see that as an example. No, of the, the the trans people are being the rapists. That that was the point. If that man went to a male prison to his well, you biological gave me an gender, he wouldn't actually be able to rape those women. Wait, no, that's absolutely not true. Like, lesbian rape exists in prison. Like, gay rape exists in prison. Like, Do you, you think a man raping a woman and a woman raping a woman is the same thing? I would say yes. Like, rape is rape. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit who does it. Like, it's bad. In most cases, obviously, we can find, like, specific examples where maybe rape is okay, but... And, and and my point is just that like if you want to like say that like th this is a problem, you you need data showing that like trans people are disproportionately likely to be prison rapists. Be because as far as I'm aware, 
uh, prison rape is a pretty big problem, whether it, whether or not we're talking about like, you know, cis man and cis man or cis woman well, and cis woman. Well, don't worry. With again, with the newest decision of the Supreme Court, soon there will be an update. Don't worry. And the problem is that this is just wait. The, the Supreme. Wait, are you talking about the recent Supreme Court decision in the United States? Yes. I'm. I'm pretty sure that had to do with employment discrimination. What does this have to do with rape? Again, because if I identify as female, right, I can accuse some of my uh, co-workers of actually... Wait, no, no, no. Raping. Why are you moving off the prison rape thing? I was just giving you an example. But I can go with the Supreme Court as well. I don't really mind. Just tell me where you want me to... Well, you Go brought up prison rape, so no. I'm asking for data showing that trans people are disproportionately likely to be prison rape. Um, the evidence is not so much, yeah. There is not so much data done on the subject. But let me ask you. Okay, then why should I would... accept a claim? Yeah, but would you like to even have such data? Yes, would you I would be want data. Would in such data? Of trans people raping women in prison, you would want data like well, there are at least ten or fifteen yes. examples. Look, okay, you can, so give can, can you tell? Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. You can give anecdotal examples of men like raping women, but if somebody were to pass a law that we're trying to like that were that in fuck, sorry, if someone were trying to pass a law that restricted my freedom to do what I want as a man, yeah, I would on the grounds that like men are likely to rape women. Yeah, I would want data showing that like men are so disproportionately likely to rape that passing this law would be a good thing to do yeah they're, they're not connected the law um handles different type of issues they're the, the it was not really connected to the previous example i was giving if that makes more sense. sorry my my example wasn't connected no my example i didn't connect the prison rape with the new law i was talking about two completely separate things there okay um i Okay, then I guess I would just ask the same thing. Like, do we have data on prison rape? Yeah, we do. But again, what would be your threshold? I think there are at least 15 cases. What would be sufficient enough data, sufficient enough sample for you? Honestly, I'm not, I, I would need to see like, uh, you mean like, like how, how many times would, like how much more, are, are you asking me like how much, how, no, I, there, are, uh, there are at least 15 reported incidents of this happening. I'm saying what will be your threshold for data? Like, who cares if there are, like I, can, I, like, I can find you right now. I guarantee in like the span of like 15 minutes, I can find 15 separate examples of like men raping women. So like what, should we not allow them in public spaces together? Should we not? Like, like. Contrary to what Lauren Southern says, like data is not the plural of anecdote. So you are talking here about studies or? No, I'm asking you. Well, for... What are you talking about data? Can you be more specific? What type of data are you referring to? Data showing that trans people are statistically. Uh, yeah, I'm asking what that... kind, what type of data or research, a newspaper article, anything can be referred to as data. Like a study. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were working with that loose of a, a definition of data. I'm talking about. Yeah, I think if I have a research enough, I would, should be able to find one for you. Okay. On a later stage and present it with with a study. Yeah. Okay. I think that's that's perfectly possible. Okay. Uh, anything else you wanna run by me or? No, not oh. really. Oh, actually, I do have one question. So sure. you gave that example of like, um, <clears throat> you gave the example, I think you said it was a uh, a, a trans woman who uh, was a boxer who... Yeah, she was allowed to... to, uh, to... Fuck, sorry. Um, do you think that sports categories should be determined by chromosomes? Oh, yeah, I definitely think it should be um, determined by gender. I don't think Are that you... males that pretend to be females should be allowed in women's sports. I am on the third position with that. Sure, yeah. Are you believing or sorry, are you familiar with fuck, I was reading I was reading what Nier said in the chat and I said believe. Um sorry. Um are you familiar with the uh the I think it was in Texas. Uh, it was a case of 
You're cutting again. I can't hear you. Fuck me. I'm sorry. Um, are you familiar with the case in Texas where, a, I think it was Texas, where a trans man uh, was wanting to wrestle against cis men, um, but because they determine these categories by chromosomes, uh, he was forced to wrestle uh, cis women and crushed them all and, you know, basically won the title. What do you mean by that? If it was determined by chromosomes, he would actually uh, facing men, not women. Uh, can you give me the specific example? Well, I will Google it. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll find it. Give me a sec. Yeah. Should be able to talk now, Fish. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm. I was looking for that. Okay, I got the. I got the uh, story. I'll uh, post it in general. Yeah, so this was a case of a transgender man who was on uh, testosterone, who was significantly stronger than uh, all of the uh, cis. You're cutting again, but I think I have. Yeah, so I'm just curious, like what what your what are your thoughts on that? Because that's you know going to be the I've forgotten. Of like I I I've seen the story, but you know, just like other type of news. Over it again. I'm sorry, you cut out. What did you say? Yeah, back when it was viral, I saw the story, right? But I just need to remember the details of it again. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just bringing this up to to show that like this is this is going to be the the consequence of uh, of the pol of a policy that you would uh, sounds like you would endorse, right? If we're going to go by chromosomes, then this this is the correct decision, right? This person should have wrestled against cis women. Yeah, sorry. Um, I, will, I will read the article later, but no matter how you look at it, this is a man, this is not a woman. He should be playing men, not women. Right. So okay, but you understand that directly contradicts the policy prescription that you just... Why? A yes. man should fire the man and a woman should fire the woman. Well, be, well but you just told me... That, well, well, I asked you when you said... I'm, I'm pretty sure we can go back and probably... If anyone's recording this, you said that we should... Uh, classify these things by chromosomes, right? So people with XY, people with XX, right? These people shouldn't be... Yeah, yeah right. So this person cool. has XX chromosomes, right? This person was born with female sex characteristics. So this is the correct policy, right? This would be the correct policy on your view. This yeah, and so he transitioned... Okay, I understand you. He transitioned from... Uh, a yeah. Yeah, he should be fighting. I will buy the blood on that one. He's an exception, and I'm pretty okay with uh, someone who is born female to fight woman. I, what I'm not okay with is actually the gender, uh, the surgery that actually they, that they allow it. And I'm really excited that um, Trump actually cut the funding on the insurances. So that stuff like this doesn't really happen. Okay. This is not, I mean, this is not so much a problem of. Um, him being born as a woman than him being allowed to transition to a man. This is my bigger issue. Oh, so you think we should keep that policy, but we should just bar people from transitioning? Yeah, of course. Definitely. Okay, I'd love to hear the case for that. Unfortunately, I do have to go in like five minutes, so I'll have to wrap this up in a 
in a few minutes, but I'd love to hear the case for that. Sure. Do do you have a case? So sorry, just to just to be clear, that was a question. Do you do you have a case for why they shouldn't be allowed to transition? Yeah, because I I think that gender dysphoria is actually a mental disability. Well, it, you, and those people yeah, those people should be treated, not being encouraged to transition. They should be in the hospital. Well, a lot of them do. No, no, I mean the hospital just like before. Um, well, I don't know what that means. Before means that um, if a person was uh, having thoughts of being transgender, his family and his parents would do the necessary to take care of him and uh, put him on a treatment. Yeah, and by treatment, treatment, I mean in a mental clinic. Oh, okay. So by treatment, you don't. You're or cutting. Sorry. You're cutting, but I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like what? What do you mean by treatment? Like, what's what would be an example of the treatment you would prescribe to trans people? Unfortunately, I'm not a doctor. Um, I would need to research that, but probably there would be some meds that could help with the condition for sure. If it's, again, I'm not familiar with the condition itself, right? Do you think it might make more sense to just listen to what like the current experts have to say on this issue? Or since we're uh, not experts, no, since we're just for people? me, that's just a pill to authority and just uh, the left pushing a narrative. And I don't consider those people experts. The is, point where wait, wait, anyone, on, let, on, let me finish on. because it's important. The point where anyone can uh, decide what um, gender they are and based on their feelings, it's not really an expert field, right? Again, this is why uh, there was the meme with the helicopter. Well, all yeah. I'm talking about right now are the prescribed treatments for trans people. That's what I'm, I'm not talking about like helicopters or whatever. Well, saying, yeah. Like, so they, think... yeah, yeah, they would be on the same medicine as someone who is who, who probably has um, psychotic behavior or uh, suffers depression and so on, anxiety stuff like this. You know, like why do you think, bipolar disorder. Why do you disorder, think you know more than experts who do research on this? This is my belief, and again, I am not sure if I would trust the experts, and I am sure that I would be able to find experts for my case as well. Again, this uh, this point is just an appeal to authority. Well, it's not, it's not no, an argument. appeal an appeal to authority is it, well. I I mean, I guess there are multiple. I would consider this a legitimate appeal to authority. Like, okay, so like, don't you think that I can find the experts that are actually for what I'm saying? Don't you think sir, that it's possible? We can also find experts so, who, who don't. Who yeah, if we can find experts that hold both positions, then where is the truth? Well, for lay people, really, all we can do is appeal to like the consensus, right? Unless you have like a better heuristic. Like we can find we can find like one off examples for pretty much any position. We can find like climatologists who think that uh, humans don't contribute to climate change. But I mean, presumably, I mean, maybe you would. Presumably, you're not going to say it's an appeal to authority to like trust the consensus on that. I'm not sure what we mean by consensus. The point is that we have two oppositions that are not likely to accept the um, position of the other team. So it would be more like the majority rule, not so much about accepting what the other party is saying. Yeah, it's basically it's, it's who not, has the number wins. Not quite. It's like what 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 most like like this is kind of why we have like meta analyses because if, if we can't hear you again. I'm sure you're talking. Fuck. I am so sorry about this, everybody. Um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of like the purpose of like a meta analysis, right? Like if we if we have like if we can show that like 
you know, like, uh, you know, 25 out of, you know, 28 studies point to a certain trend, we, we would typically, um, we would typically, you know, agree with that trend. We, we would, we would say that, you know, this is, we, we, we would, we would accept what the, what the trend or what the studies show, right? Sure. Um, however, don't you think it depends who actually runs those analysis? For example, if 28 conservatives or mm-hmm. people with conservatives believe make those meta analysis, you would you accept the outcome of them of them? Yeah, I mean if they were peer reviewed, if they were yeah, of course, yeah. Like if if the if the methodology was was uh you know, shown to be uh so uh, let know, me get this straight. For you don't think that the conservatives would, if this is, was really a persuasive option, you don't think that the conservatives would actually go out of their way just so that they can show example on the position that they hold and want to push the narrative that they actually present in order to push more people to join their side. That's a possibility. Are you, are you really holding that position? No, I mean that, that. Okay, is that a possibility? Of course. Like, but as a layman, all I can do is like look at like the 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 consensus when it comes to like. Yeah. So this is why when someone presents me a study, I look at the persons who actually conducted the study. I, I do background research on the people themselves first, and not so much on the argument being said. Okay, but like this is how I determined if a study is trustworthy for me or not based on who actually wrote well, but everyone's gonna have biases right so like that's gonna just be true yeah so it depends everyone. who writes the study so if conservatives so we, write the study the bias would be to there should be no trans people if leftists write the study well uh, white people are fine. yeah so if everyone has biases doesn't it make sense to just go with what the majority of the peer-reviewed literature says Again, I explained to why it really doesn't, because you then are open to manip- manipulations on who actually wrote the study. It's, you, it's you can possible, accept it, right? of course, but like I, 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 like, I, I guess I just ask you, like, do you have a better heuristic? Because I, I don't. That's all I can do as a layman. Like, I, I, like the, the only other thing you can do is go into that field of study and get a PhD and learn about how these... Fuck, I cut out again. Uh, I don't know how much of that you heard. Um, oh, no, I, I don't have. I, I do understand your point. For me, this, the only solution is time. Only time can show who is right. That, that's all. And the majority rule. The majority wins over the minority always. I mean, I'm not quite advocating for majority rule. I'm, it's, it's not just like, I'm not just taking a bunch of scientists and asking like what their opinion is. I'm, I'm, talk, I'm saying like when I say like we should appeal to scientific consensus, we should like appeal to what most of the literature says, right? Again, we go to the point who actually wrote it, right? That that's my main concern. Um, I think that the bias is not something that I'm willing to allow. But but bias is going to exist from everyone. Everyone has their bias. Again, the point is that if I'm actually interested in literature, I will actually search for. Um, claims that support my position and I'll be interested in that type of literature. This is how I would Okay. Um, okay. Like, uh, okay. Let, I will again I will give you another example. So for example, you you understand that I'm pretty right, right? I'm pretty far on the right. I'm I hold conservative sure. beliefs, right? So um, obviously yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. So obviously I'm familiar with the leftist. But most of the content I consume is from far-right people because I want to hear the position that actually fits my own narrative first before hearing the opposition. I want to hear what um, the guys... Well, that just sounds like confirmation bias. Yeah, because anyone has it. So uh, first I will be searching for studies that support my claim then go against my claim. Don't you think it's a better right. heuristic to just like appeal to what the literature, te- like the what the literature trends towards? Like, No, because again, if I read the literature, it would appeal to what I'm saying. So you're like, you're basically admitting that like your positions are like, like the, the way you determine whether or not a position is correct is if 
the, the person. Yeah, based on my preferences. All my positions are based on my preferences. And I will search evidences and claims that support those preferences. Okay. I mean, I guess for the rest of us who don't want to just... I mean, okay, I guess. I, your worldview is, is just extremely bizarre to me. I, I can't... Okay. Like, I'm, I'm speechless at this point. I... You okay, think it's well, wrong? If Fish doesn't have anything else to say to you, um, I don't know. Do we want to unleash Avi or anyone to wreck the medical claims? Yeah, go for it. I gotta, I gotta to go it. to work anyways in like a couple minutes. Um, I'll just say, uh, yeah. yeah, no, that never mind. I, I already said it. That's fine. Uh, okay, go for it. All right. Well, I don't see Avi responding, so I'm gonna lock the room.